It's a sound Waverly resident Ivory Clanton Jr. knows all too well. Oh, well I've been here 73 years. Living next to a railroad track for most of his life. But Clanton says it's not the loud horns that scare him and his family. Rather, it's the sound of rushing water. We start getting worried because we don't know how long it's going to rain. Because of a collapsed pipe that runs under a train track next to his home, rainwater that is supposed to pass through the pipe and drain away from his property instead builds up and floods his yard. The pipe clogged up and the water can't go. It just stops. Yep. And uh, it don't take long to fill up neither. Clinton says sometimes it gets so bad that water comes into their mobile home. One time they even had to be rescued by boat. That water all went through the trail, the whole trail itself, from the back to the front. That is stain mark right here. So my parents, whenever they see water and the rain in the forecast, they all in pieces. And it terrifies Ivory Clanton III because both of his parents are disabled. I'm thinking about every time I see rain, I'm going to lose my parents. How am I going to get out here? No one drive. The family says they went to the town council to see if the problem could get fixed. But we're told by Waverly government that VDOT cannot repair the pipe until given permission by Norfolk Southern, owners of the railroad track. Our pleas for help with Norfolk Southern have just fallen on deaf ears. Waverly Mayor Angela McFall and president of the town council Franklin Cox say the issue impacting the Clanton family is just one of many they're asking Norfolk Southern to remedy. This has been a problem since we've been in office for five and a half years. Less than a mile away, a train track they say is also owned by the company and runs through the town's primary road is causing issues for the cars that have to drive over it. Main Street carries a lot of traffic, a lot of big truck traffic, and the, the, the crossing here takes a beating, particularly from big trucks. Cox says the high volume of traffic has led to large holes in the road. As you can see over there, we have some serious damage around the rails. Drivers like James King say he suffered car damage here. Each time I come across that, I hit a big bump. We have people that are very upset, um, they break rims, you know, they, they've hit these potholes. Cox says the town was told a more permanent fix would be coming by Norfolk Southern after they temporarily repaired the holes several times. But he says that was months ago and the holes continue to get worse. They'll patch it and it'll last a few weeks, a month. We've got a bad hole again. From growing holes to sinking pipes. We're coming into the worst part of the winter. Residents of this small town tell CBS 6 they just want to see everything fixed and back on track. Well, my wife, she's sick, got bad knees and all that, you know. And we just worried to death out here. They weren't, I'm worried. So, ain't no sense of putting it off. The time is now. I reached out to Norfolk Southern about both incidents and was sent this statement that reads in part, quote, the crossing on Main Street is slated for maintenance work in the next week or two, which will address concerns there about the pavement. On the culvert, that section of the track is leased to a local business, meaning there are a couple of different parties involved that are responsible for different maintenance related items. We are aware of the situation, though, and are looking for a solution, end quote. I will be checking in with the town mayor and residents of the home in the next few weeks to see if any progress has been made. For CBS 6 News, I'm Joy Foltz.